In a lot of cases, we're going to want to be rounding to a certain number of decimal places. It's all really to do with accuracy. And with decimal places, um, we're looking at numbers such as uh, 14.2376, for example, okay? So numbers that have decimal places. So you could think of this as centimetres, for example. So if you think of a ruler and centimetres, you'll know that the centimetre is split up into millimetres, okay? So this is identifying the millimetres column. So I would have 14 centimetres and 2 millimetres, okay? And then the millimetre is split up again, okay, into an even smaller unit of measure. So there are 10 units in between each millimetre, and between each of those is another 10 bits. So I've got 7 bits between those. Okay? And I'm going into ever-increasing degrees of accuracy. Now, obviously, if I told you to, or asked you, to draw a line that was 14.2376 centimetres long, that's going to be very difficult to do by eye. And likelihood is, the likelihood is that you'd be able to draw 14.2 centimetres. But to get it any more accurate than that would be very difficult. So you would be able to draw it to one decimal place, okay, or in reasonable act with reasonable accuracy. Beyond that is going to be incredibly difficult by hand, and you would have to design a computer in order to do it. So, fourteen point two three seven six centimeters, and we want to round it to the nearest one decimal place. Okay, we're looking at the first decimal place and we look one to the right, as we have always done. So it's all a case of identifying which number we need to look at. So that is the first decimal place, we look one to the right, and if it is five or more, I round up. If it is less than five, I round down. And in this case, I would have to round it down. So if I split it up into one decimal places, we're looking at 14.1, 14.2, 14.3, 14.4, etc. So 14.2376 is somewhere about there. 14.2376. So the 3 is telling me to round down, so this would be 14.2 to one decimal place. And because we don't want to write to one decimal place in full words, we write to 1dp, the dp representing decimal place. Okay, so then if I looked at um, 157.8639, um, okay, and we're thinking along the same lines that this is a length that I need to draw, and I can only do it to one decimal place, then what we're looking at here is the first decimal place. We look one to the right. It tells us that it is five or more, so we round up. So this would be rounded to 157.9 to one decimal place. So on our number line, we're looking at 157 157.9 and the 157.8639 would be about there and so it would be closer to the 157.9 as dictated by the 6 okay so that is to one decimal place and that is how it works now, if you are going to round to two decimal places, right, so I'll use exactly the same numbers, what we've got to be thinking about here for two decimal places is that, okay, so let's say I have now designed a computer uh, that can 
draw you a line, or a machine that can draw you a line, and it can draw you a line to two decimal places. So now we have a line that can be drawn much more accurately to two decimal places, so we look at the second decimal place in both, I'm going to do both of them at the same time, okay? So we look at the second decimal place and we look at one to the right. In the first example, we can see that one to the right is five or more. So it would round it up to 14.24 to two decimal places, so to two dp. And in this example, we would be looking at 157 point, well the one to the right is less than 5, so I round it down to 86, 157.86, to two decimal places. So on our number line, if you're going that's a little bit odd, I can't quite follow that, on our number line what it's looking at is having split the number line up into two decimal places, we're at 14.23, and 14.24 and 2376 is roughly about there. Okay, so 14.2376 is close to the 14.24. And on our number line here, we've got 157.86 and 157.87, but 157.8639 is roughly about there. And so on a number line, it is very clear that that is the one that we're looking for. So in each case, as it is with one decimal place or two decimal places, or you can go to three decimal places or four, you're looking at, in the first case, put one decimal place, the first decimal place column. For two decimal places, for these, you're looking at the second decimal place column. And then always the one to the right to decide whether you should round up or round down.